Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So let's take a look at the market. Wow, we got Bitcoin coming in at $1,774.25. This is great. I mean, you can't hope for anything better but for for BTC to be at all-time highs. Uh, I've been bullish for Bitcoin all through last month, and I'm going to continue to be bullish for Bitcoin through this month. We got Ethereum making some small gains on yesterday, coming in at $91.15. That's pretty good. They're struggling to get back there to the $100, but I'm sure they'll make it soon. We got Litecoin coming in at $34.57. Uh, this is good, but this is pretty much though due to the adoption of Segwick, which is going to be happening later on today. We got Steam coming in at $0.83. Cents. Uh, this is pretty good. I mean, they were at a dollar the other day, so let's see if they can get back there soon. Uh, we got Monero at $29.30. Uh, they said at a $20 for a while, and now they move up a run in the ladder to the $30 spot, and they're they're holding it. So uh, we got Num coming in at 11.3 cents. This is good for them. They, you know they took some climbs the other day, climbing up the ladder, uh, and you know they're holding it. So. We got Dash coming in at $97.79. Uh, they're shooting for that $100 and holding it. Uh, that's pretty good for them. We got Zcash at the $100.65 and Factum at $9.15. So what do we got here on Bitcoin and Coffee today? First, let's take a, let's take a look at the Bitcoin network. We have 100,000 unconfirmed transactions right now. Um, this is not wonderful. This is, uh, I'm not sure if it's due to some sort of DDoS attack or if this is just due to the increased price causing, you know, people to do trading and moving their Bitcoin around, you know, flooding the network with, you know, demand. So with Segwick activating today on Litecoin, hopefully, you know, a busy network and the increased volume will start pushing people towards an activation of Segwick on the Bitcoin network. Um, you know, at this moment, this is the best thing we can hope for to resolve situations like this of, you know, the backlog in the Bitcoin network. Because nobody wants to sit around for, you know, 24 to 48 hours waiting for their Bitcoin transaction. You know, people start to get nervous. Uh, we're looking at a $52 billion market cap right now, which is great because it means that even though we had the day of red the other day and most of the Bitcoin or most of the altcoins pulled backwards, uh, we're still looking at the same value in cryptocurrency market, meaning that a lot of the money didn't flood out into fiat cash. Uh, right now, we got a $28.4 billion market cap on Bitcoin, holding a 54.5% dominance. You know, this is this is relative as of lately. Um, here on Bitcoin and Coffee, for other news, I got that GMO Internet Company of Japan, uh, they're a conglomerate company. Um, they're saying that due to the recent law changes in Japan, it's going to allow them the accessibility to be able to open up their own exchange. Uh, they're finding the demand for it. So on May 24th, um, they're going to be opening their own exchange. So that's wonderful for them over there. Another exchange in Japan, you know, giving people Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, allowing them to make some money off of it. Now, with that being said, uh, yesterday there was a problem. We had a DDoS attack on Kraken for sure and a potential one on Poloniex. Um, you know, the Kraken was saying that they were down for about an hour. Uh, the problem is, is that this uh, coincided with the same time that there was a drop in the price of Ethereum causing a lot of people to lose a lot of money. Um, you know, some people are saying that this was uh, intentional. Uh, some people are Kraken is saying that this is, you know, this is just a coincidence. Um, but when it comes to cryptocurrency, you can never rule anything out. This is the Wild West, and people are doing everything they can do to manipulate the markets to get as much Bitcoin and other altcoins as they possibly can. So, you know, I'm sorry for the people that lost money. You know, that is, it is a shame. Uh, but at the same time, you know, that when you're trading, you know, they say never to trade more than what you're willing to lose. And it's reasons like this on why they say that. Um, you know, so you have to do everything you can do to keep your Bitcoin safe, to keep yourself profitable. And, you know, usually I try to spread my money across several exchanges if I'm trading to, to not get all locked up at one. But other than that, that's about all I have here on Bitcoin and Coffee. So if you like what you've heard here today, I need you to hit that subscribe button down there and become a member. We're growing and getting close to 1,000 subscribers, which is great. Uh, we got the like button right over there on the side. Uh, that's the best way for other people to come and find us here on Bitcoin and Coffee. And you can always tweet us or Facebook us out to let other people who don't know about cryptocurrency come find out about cryptocurrency here. You know, at Bitcoin and Coffee, you have a cup of coffee with me for about 10 minutes. We'll talk about the latest news and try to steer everyone away from the scam. Uh, below, I got all sorts of affiliate links to get you tools, um, you know, get you some free BTC, doggies, Pivx, Litecoin, all of that. And I got affiliate links below to get you a hard wallet because that's the best way to keep your Bitcoin safe. And 
Also some do donational addresses. If you can do anything to help us out here at Bitcoin and Coffee, we're growing. I got all kinds of projects in the works to see what I can do to bring it and make this better. Uh, I'm also posting on Steam it now. So if you're a member over there, go over and please upvote my uh, Steams. And you know, remember everybody, keep your Bitcoin safe.